Hello and welcome to another video of Learn UX ID. I am Mohammed Hassan, a user experience designer, and I am going to share with you some of the tools that are popular among user interface designers and user experience designers. So let's get started. I'm going to share and divide these tools into design tools, then uh, whiteboarding tools, then we have user uh, testing tools, then we have user interviews tools, survey tools. So I'm going to share with you all these different kinds of tools. Also, one more tip is that you can earn from some of these websites yourself. You become a user yourself and you test other products and you earn commissions from there. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with user testing. This is usertesting.com. I have actually used it and you can also become a user yourself and you can test different uh, apps and different companies and their different products and um, so you can see this is um, their website, uh, target, ask, watch, learn, share. Uh, so this is uh, a very big website, very old firm. And you can see Canva, GoDaddy, all these companies are using it. And let's see um, what they can provide. Uh, they can provide mobile testing too. So I have actually used it once. Uh, and it's a very nice tool. So first thing is that you have to, uh, you can use this um, user testing. So let's see if we can have something, platform, customer experience narrative, human insight management plans. So let's see what they have the plans. So they have a lot of things like they can also generate transcripts of your uh, user interviews, demographic filters, screener questions, all these things. So this is a very um, big tool for user testing. Uh, let's move to the next one, which is uh, one of my favorites. If you are working on um, user navigation and user experience, you are actually building information architecture, then this website is great. You can do card sorting, you can do tree, tree testing, online surveys, first click testing, all these on this optimal workshop. I really love their uh, card sorting and tree testing. This is really nice. Let's move to another one, which is look back. So uh, this is actually, uh, I think user session uh, to see what the uh, user interviews, I think. So you are showing different screens and user is actually um, talking uh, along with that. So there are actually two types of interviews you can do moderated and unmoderated. I think this look back is able to do both of them. So here you can see they have, they are really showing how their actually product works. So we have different projects and we have different live shares, um, 54 sessions and all the different users that are actually testing it. So this is look back a really popular user testing. Then we have another one. Let's accept this user zoom. And this is another one. Let's see why user zoom for UX designers, for marketer, project managers and everything. Uh, live interviews. So this is good. So they have all the listed things like you can do live interviews, card sorting, live intercept, QX score. I don't know what this is. I think it's quality something. Uh, tree testing. Usability testing, surveys, click testing, participant recruitment. So you can also recruit your participants. This is another tool, user Zoom. I personally think that uh, in 2021, 2022 uh, and beyond 2022, I think the major problem is that um, a user experience designer, UI designer, they have to buy a lot of different tools and the cost of being a user experience designer is going to increase because if I'm going to use like um, three or four different tools, I'm going to pay like three to three hundred dollars a month in subscriptions. So this is a bit uh, too much for at least the countries where I actually live. Uh, so next is we have this usability hub and uh, when I log into this, you can see over here, become a tester. You can become a tester and you can earn money over here. Usability Hub is another website. You can see Google, Task, Rabbit, Airtable. They are using this. Card sorting, prototype testing. They, they are almost, they, they are showing almost the same 
capabilities design surveys preference tested tests and five second test um, if you are not familiar with all those different tests I think you should take my UX design courses they are on my website I'm going to leave, give the link to the website you can also join me on Skillshare I'm also going to give the link to Skillshare and uh, you can also find my courses on Udemy okay so here we have this one this is usability hub and this is good let's try to make it a bit short uh, because you are not able to see the whole website so let's move it a bit up like this okay so here we have it let's move it a bit more up uh, over here so now you can see the whole website anyhow let's move to the next which is hot jar I really love this this is not a, a kind of pure user testing um, kind of tool but actually it does a lot of things for your website so if you have a website an e-commerce website or anything where you are having some engagement issues or uh, you you don't know why the users are leaving your website you can record their live sessions so you can record where the user actually looked at where their cursors moved uh, you can generate a heat map you can see over here the heat map and there are a lot of things you can see a lot of big companies they are using hot jars you can see like envision uh, so this is one of the best and old apps I actually started using it when it actually launched uh, like maybe five years ago I'm not sure but I think I have used it five years ago on my own website and I recorded a few sessions uh, on hot jar so you can install it on any website there is a JavaScript code and you can uh, do a lot of things like you can see over here this feedback you can also get this feedback also from your customers let's move on to few more like you can see over here maze maze is another user uh, testing uh, kind of uh, solutions and you can see over here here they have prototype testing tree testing five second surveys card sorting video recordings participant management so this is another website popular website among different UX designers let's see a few more there is one more this is for whiteboarding or concept um, ideas generating or whiteboarding with your collaborating with your team you can see over here all in one collaboration hub whimsical is another tool for collaboration then we have figjam which is recently been launched and it is related to figma so if you use figma you might be familiar with uh, FigJam. FigJam is another popular solution to brainstorm your ideas. Let's move on to the next one, which is Mural. Uh, Mural is uh, Mural is actually again the same whiteboarding or brainstorming concepts. Then we have Miro. Miro is actually for testing products. So let's see uh, online whiteboard templates. Uh, Miro developer platform. Okay, so let's see the solutions. <clears throat> brainstorming strategy and planning project management diagramming agile workflows meeting and workshops okay so i think it is again a whiteboarding kind of um, tool let's try to make it smaller so here you can see this is a brainstorm session My miro or miro i'm not sure maze we have already discussed this one uh, okay so now next is actually um, for the surveys so if you want to build a survey uh, there are many other two but survey monkey is actually the most famous one <clears throat> then we have for user interviews so if you want to conduct a user interview this is userinterviews.com so these are there are like 20 or 50, 25 different tools I think I cannot manage subscription of all of them maybe <laughs> Uh, four or five max okay so then we again have uxtweak.com and you can see um, let's see some of the features card sorting tree testing preference test five seconds survey session recording mobile testing first list test this is a new good one prototype testing website testing so it has almost all different features a nice um, 
tool to test your products with users. Okay, now the next is documenting your research or documenting your whole user interviews and everything. So this is a famous tool called Dovetail. Uh, I really love and love their website design. This is, I think, one of the best designs I have seen. So you can see it is actually going to uh, script everything uh, you uh, what, whenever your user is talking. So you can it can generate script uh, and transcript and you can read it later on. Um, high, highlight reels of key moments. I think it is great for user research because when you are doing user research or user interviews, uh, there are things you have to highlight inside an interview. So this is great tool. You can see over here, you can look at different, um, let's see the pricing. Start free, this is good. Paid plan, 35 US dollars per month per user. This is um, pretty standard anyhow. So next is Notion. You can also use Notion to uh, keep your whole documentation of your uh, user research, also Google Drive or Google Docs. Okay, so next is prototyping. So if you want to have more prototyping features other than Figma and Adobe XD, then you can go with Protopy. This is a really advanced tools. Again, one another one, Framer.com. Framer is another very, very published, very high uh, level kind of uh, tool that is actually also have design capabilities. Then we have UXPIN. It is a very old, very mature company, UXPIN. You can create uh, different uh, prototypes that are actually component driven and they are going to be live. Uh, like you can have uh, forms, you can input in the forms, form fields and everything else. Everything will be working. So it is a prototype that is almost like not a coded prototype, but in a working format. It is not just a click able prototype, just not click and move to the next screen. Then we have XOR. XOR is also a great tool. So I would say that XOR and, and this UX pin, they are almost uh, like competitors. Uh, so again, XOR is uh, before that, it was very costly. I think four or five hundred dollars for its license. Now I think they have shifted it to Exor Cloud. And uh, if you go to buy, you will have like twenty five per dollar per month per user. So uh, this is for uh, advanced prototyping, prototype, protopie, uh, framer, UX pin, Exor. Then we have for handing, handing over our design to developers. So the first tool that comes to my mind is Zeppelin. This one is Zeppelin. So let's move to there first. So this is Zeppelin. Then we have abstract. Uh, I think abstract is again for the sketch users. I, I really love this design. I'm not sure what the typeface is. Mm, so it is, uh, I think it's a graphic anyhow. This is for versioning, version control for sketch files. Uh, this is for handing off, this is for version control. Again, GitHub is a, uh, has been used by sketch users for versioning control. Figma already have it. And this is Miro. I think we have already discussed this Miro. Uh, this is for ideation. Let's see if I have missed anything. Mm. Okay, I think these are all the tools now, if you want to see more tools or uh, you want to see all the tools that designers use, then you can go to uxtools.co survey 2021. There 2022 survey is ongoing. I have already shared my tools. So you can go ahead over here and you can see this is what they have found. So let's move a bit down. So you can see uh, most popular digital whiteboarding tools, Figma, Figjam, Mural, Whimsical, Adobe XD, Miro. So you can find different categories, prototyping, and you can find all the different tools that have been used or um, that user experience designers and UI designers are using these days. So that is all for this video. I think user testing and uh, usability hub, I think. Uh, yes, you can become a tester. I'm not sure about the other websites. Maybe they have something. So you can become a tester and you can earn yourself. So that is all. If you are a student and you are uh, in a university or in a college, maybe you can uh, 
apply to become a tester to earn some extra cash. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Do make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. I think I, I forgot to say it, or maybe I have said it twice. Anyhow, we'll meet you in another video. Bye bye.